Welcome back, Admirals. Today on WFMS, we have some reminders and dates to be aware of as we, as we begin our week. Teens for Christ and the Chess and Game Club will meet this week. Fellowship of Christian Athletes will be meeting tomorrow. Our Admirals played hard last Thursday night. Stay tuned for details. The Captain's Creative Writing Club meets this afternoon. The History Club will meet tomorrow afternoon. We have some sports updates for you. The Pet Club will be meeting this week to complete a new project. Can you, can you say donuts and a good cause? The WFMS Admiral Announcement Network starts now. All aboard, Admirals. Thank you for joining us this morning on WFMS, the Admirals Announcement Network. I'm Gracie. And I'm Nora. Welcome to your home for news announcements and more on WFMS. Now for today's news and announcements. FCA, Fellowship of Christian Athletes, will meet tomorrow and every Tuesday in the Studio Theater from 7.50 to 8.20. There will be games, activities, donuts, and a weekly Bible study. We hope to see you there. TFC, Teens for Christ, will meet this Wednesday and every Wednesday in the Studio Theater from 7.50 to 8.20. There will be games, activities, donuts, and a weekly Bible study. We hope to see you there. The board game and chess club is a great way to hang out with friends and enjoy a good time around a game board or chess game. Come join us on Wednesdays from 3.45 to 4.30 in Silver Pod, room 102. Our club is open to students in all grades. Are you a part of the Captain's Creative Writing Club? We want to remind you that the Creative Writing Club will be meeting this afternoon, but not next Monday, the 19th. Please make sure your parents are aware. Students involved in Pet Club, listen up. We will be having a meeting next Monday. What's our activity? We will decorate cats or dog treats in the library. We are making homemade pet treats and icing for students to decorate and give to their favorite pet pal. Treats will be left to dry in the library overnight. When, when Monday afternoon, December 19th until 4.15, if you cannot make the afternoon meeting on December 19th, Pet Club will have a morning decorating session on Tuesday, December 20th in the library from 8 to 8.25. Where? The FMS Library. Students must sign up and ahead of time in order, in order for enough supplies to be purchased. Students must have permission to walk down the hill or be picked up on time at 4.15. Supervision will, will not be provided or available after 4.15. Do you love donuts? Do you have $2? Do you like to support local charities? Then you can have a delicious donut treat during homeroom on Friday, December 16th. Bring $2 cash to the lobby between 8 and 8.30 for a donut from Admiral Jojo. The Honor Society will be donating the funds to a local charity. For all of our History Club members out there, listen up. Our History Club will be meeting tomorrow and every Tuesday from 3.40 to 4.40 in Miss Darrow's, Miss Darrow's room in Silver Pod. Please make your parents aware and have your rides here promptly at 4.45. Attention Admirals, our new embroidery club that will be meeting this spring semester is full, but you can still sign up and be put on the waiting list. You can find information on the Student Resources Canvas page by clicking on the Club Information section and going to slide number 7, where you will also find the sign up link in the waiting list. Sixth grade book club members will want to listen up. We will be meeting today to discuss No Summit Out of Sight by Jordan Romero. We will meet from 3.30 to 4.30 in Mrs. Claxton's room, room 203. That's it for announcements. Now for our new segment, Motivational Monday. Welcome to our Motivational Monday segment. I'm PT. And I'm Gabriel. For our second installment of our new Motivational Monday segment, we will be keeping it simple with some suggestions for acts of kindness as we approach Christmas. First of all, what is kindness? We can look at the traditional definition, but looking at kindness another way, we realize it isn't easy to define something as significant as kindness. So it's understandable different people may define kindness in different ways. One way to define kindness is a sincere and voluntary use of one's time, talent, and resources to better the lives of others, one's own life, and the world through genuine acts of love, compassion, generosity, and service. Moreover, kindness involves choice. Kindness involves choice because there are many alternatives to kindness that will tempt us through life, including, of course, apathy and anger. Circumstances may test us. People may try us. News may trouble us. Yet, despite these obstacles, we each have the beautiful ability to actively choose to be kind. In addition, kindness involves choice because there are so many different ways to be kind. 
Every time each of us performs an act of kindness, we get to choose fun answers to great questions, such as the following. Who can I be kind to? How kind can I be? What acts of kindness can I do? So, we close our segment today with a few ideas about acts of kindness to do today or any day. Here are some simple acts of kindness you can begin doing today. Stand up for someone who is being made fun of or bullied. Hold the door open for someone else to walk through or send a thoughtful thank you email to a great instructor. Help a friend with a homework or project. Leave five kind comments on social media. Help the teacher put up chairs or clean the desk. Eat lunch with someone who normally eats alone. Talk to a new student and make them feel welcome. Those are some really great suggestions that any of us can easily do at any time. Also, if someone shows you kindness to you here at FMS that really impacts you and you want to share that story, email Mr. Hambrick at chris.hambrick at knoxschools.org and we will try to share some of those stories periodically. That's it for our Motivational Monday. Now for a short sports brief. Hi, I'm Blair. And I'm Sophia. Now for a quick sports brief. Our Admirals are playing very well this season, but they continue to need your cheering and support. We are at an in-school game Friday against Carnes at Carnes, and we will have results for you soon. And remember that we will also have another away game this evening against Northwest at Norwell. Northwest. If you are able to make it to cheer on our ads, the games will begin at 4.30 for the girls and 5.30 for our guys. We will also have a great opportunity Thursday for the whole school to watch and cheer on our ads, hopefully to another victory. This is in-school game on Thursday is against halls for both the girls and guys. Spread some holiday cheer this year by purchasing a candy gram for $2. Candy grams are a reindeer car with lollipops that can be sent to your friends, classmates, teachers, coaches, or FMS staff. Send them a gram from you or send them anonymously. Candy grams will be sold during lunch at the table by the front office. Thank you for supporting FMS cheerleaders. That's it for sports. Have a great Monday, and now back to the news desk. For our Attendance Matters moment today, regular school attendance plays a vital role in a student's education. And regular attendance can also be an indicator of future success in life. Remember, every, every school, school day counts. Thank you for joining us this morning on WFMS, the Admirals News Network. We hope you have a great day and evening. Make good choices. Be kind. Stay safe. And, and we, we will see you tomorrow. tomorrow.